G'day, Danny Hayden here at Pacific Toyota, giving you the personalized high definition video tour on our Mazda CX-8. Uh, now, to give you an idea of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you through the entire vehicle. So we're gonna go through the engine bay. As you can see, I've got the bonnet half pop there. So we'll make sure there's an engine um, and then we'll work our way through all the paint and panel of the uh, car through the exterior. And then we'll work our way through the interior and obviously all the service history with the vehicle as well. So we'll start off and we'll pop the bonnet here. Um, now I will point out any discrepancies as well on the vehicle if I do see them. That way we're being as transparent as possible. All right, so under the hood, as you can see, we do have an engine, which is half the battle one. Obviously inside there, nice and tidy as you would expect from a car that's only done sort of 25,000 Ks. So we'll close that one down. Show you up the front of the bonnet now. Yeah, nice and tidy through there. There's no visible dents. The paintwork again uh, through the bonnet here is in um, almost pristine condition. Um, there's really nothing to uh, to sort of point out there, which is good. Through our front bar, there is a uh, slight little stone chip just here. But other than that, everything else is in really, really good condition as well. Uh, coming down the side of the car now, just showing you through all the doors and the quarter panel. As you can see, nice and straight, no visible dents. We do have a 17 inch factory alloy wheel um, and they're wrapped in a uh, Yokohama uh, highway terrain tire. And as you can see there, there is heaps of tread left on those, which is perfect. Uh, paintwork wise, this side, there is a tiny little scuff mark just on the wing mirror here. Other than that though, Everything else is in uh, really, really good condition. Bit of dirt just on the uh, door there. Obviously the car will get cleaned before uh, before it goes on a truck to you. Uh, coming through to the rear, you can straight away see we do have your reversing sensors. And then just up uh, above our um, number plate there, we do have your reversing camera. Now I just wanted to let you know, obviously with the paint, it is a uh, crystal pearl. Uh, so it does get that nice glisten in the sun, which is nice. So through the rear here, as you can see, nice and tidy. Seven seats at the back, they fold up like so. But all nice and tidy through the rear of the car, which is good. Coming down our passenger side now, again, just showing you down through all the panels here. And again, as you can see, nice and tidy, no visible dents down any of those doors, uh, which is good. Paintwork wise, pretty much the same as the opposite side, really. Again, all in really, really nice and clean condition. All right, so we'll show you through the second row of seats here. As you can see, we do have weather shields on the vehicle as well. Um, but through our second row of seats, as you can see air conditioning controls in the back and all the seats are in fantastic condition as well as no stains or rips or tears. The car does come complete with two remote keys as well. Um, so they are just here. Now they are the genuine uh, Mazda remote key. We'll jump inside now. Show you through the, obviously the front of the car. Again, all the seats are in good condition. Genuine floor mats. All right, push button start. All right, so we have uh, 25,220 kilometers showing on the vehicle there. Now there are no warning lights. Um, at the moment it is idling fast due to uh, doing a diesel injector clean. Um, so that's a cool little feature where it just cleans itself. Um, coming through, obviously, all our uh, instrumentals here, we have all your stereo and Bluetooth controls just over on your left-hand side of the steering wheel. And then across over here, we have all your cruise control options. Now, with your cruise control, we can set a uh, like a radar or an adaptive cruise. Um, basically, what that does is, if I can get it to, um, there we go. So you can limit, uh, you can do like a limit um, where it sets limit at like 30 Ks or 40 Ks or 50 Ks, depending on uh, what you want your limit to be set at, where it stops you from going over that. As you can see there, it's sort of changing the speed. 
um, and then obviously you have here your, um, I guess you, what's the word I'm looking for? The distance between you and the car in front, so you can set that um, just here as well, so it's your adaptive cruise. Coming across over here, we have um, obviously your eye stop. Um, we do have lane departure warning as well. Um, so as you can see there, you can turn that on and off. That'll obviously alert you when you um, uh, go over the white lines without indicating. Um, we've got uh, obviously downhill assist control there. And then on the side mirrors, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a dark a little, two little squares just in the corner there. That's your blind spot alert. So they'll actually illuminate uh, orange when there is a car in your um, in your blind spot and obviously uh, let you know not to, uh, not to change lanes at this point in time. We do have a power fold option as well for the side mirrors. Um, and then over here we have obviously your window and side mirror controls there as well. Now, I don't know if that's gonna show up, um, but you can just see on the windscreen there, we do have heads up display as well, which is cool. Um, so obviously, there we go. Get that. You can see that white line moving there. That's your, um, that's the radar. Um, and obviously the distance that you set between you and the car in front for your adaptive cruise control. Coming across into our infotainment system here. Um, so if we go to entertainment. Go to FM. Turn the radio up so you can hear it. It's dust, dirt, water and sand. Tag Star 102.7 with you. All right, so as you can hear there, all the speakers are working nicely. They're all clear. There's no distortion or anything like that, which is perfect. Now that does come um, complete with your reversing camera and obviously that works in conjunction with the reversing sensors. Um, satellite navigation, um, which is all inbuilt as well, as you can see there. Now I've controlled everything through the little pad just here, but you can also obviously do it as a touch screen as well. Uh, moving across, obviously all our air conditioning controls, so we do have a dual zone climate control, so each side can have their ideal temperature, which is uh, which is pretty handy. Um, but then obviously moving down, we have all our gearing system as well, so you park reverse neutral into a drive and then across into M for manual mode, where you can change up and down through the gears. A couple of little cup holders there. And obviously our um, center console area there where we have our, obviously our SD card for the um, entertainment system. And then you do have two USB ports as well as an auxiliary um, port there as well. Alrighty, so service history, obviously this was a one owner vehicle um, and has been serviced uh, regularly, which is perfect. If I can get to the page, would be nice. Because of having big fat fingers. All right, so you can see there, first service is at 9,000 Ks and then again at 20. Um, so it's not due to um, almost 30,000 Ks there, um, or the, the seventh month, 2022. Uh, all our books are all here as well. Um, so look, all in all through the vehicle, um, in fantastic condition. Obviously the previous owner has looked after the car, as you would expect from a car that's only sort of done 25,000 kilometers. There's no markings in that I can see inside the vehicle, which is good. Um, so what we might do, we might jump out and give you a final look over the vehicle. so that is our Mazda CX-8 I hope you enjoy the video if you do have any further questions though please don't hesitate to give me a call I look forward to hopefully doing business with you very soon cheers